interviews with business owners and veteran executives who share their wisdom and expertise to help you de-stress, free up time, and make more money. Profits of IT. Welcome back to Profits of IT podcast. I'm Jim Punzenberger. I'm the founder of Neutron Solutions and the creator of the Managed Prospecting System. We help uh, IT companies generate leads without cold calling, ad spend, or needing trade shows. Today, I have with me a cybersecurity expert, Efren Perez, and uh, he is here to talk a little bit about uh, cybersecurity. And uh, you want to just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself personally first, uh, give us a brief uh, overview of yourself and uh, what you do? Sure. Thanks, Jim. Glad to be here. Um, Efren Perez, 13 years in, in uh, cybersecurity business, uh, worked with network security. Uh, my recent role uh, is with IAM, Identity Access Management. Um, again, cybersecurity has become paramount uh, even more so during this, this pandemic. Um, and I've watched the uh, career field of the industry, if you were, evolve um, through the 13 years. And even, I think, especially over this last year with the pandemic. Yeah. So what have you seen since the pandemic and uh, now working with uh, identity access management? What should, uh, you know, what should people know about uh, identity access management or what should specifically people in the IT field know about it that it sounds like it's a you know really a new thing on the forefront of cybersecurity uh, what I guess uh, what is it and what should we know about it sure um, of course you know most of your listeners are probably, you know, CISOs or director of IT, so they know network security, right? Firewalls, guard the gate, you know, keep the information inside. Um, if I was to use an analogy, I would say, how about guarding who has access to that gate? And I think that that's where identity access management or IAM uh, fits into that, that role. Um, again, with the pandemic and so many uh, companies having their, their workforce work remotely, um, to log into their, their network um, and to get access to, you know, um, client information, uh, things of that nature. Um, IAM has become paramount to make sure whoever is getting into the network should be involved in the network or have access to that information um, and protects the, the clients as well. Um, IAM has been around for a while, Jim. I think it's it's been a part of I call it the hidden part um, because, again, the emphasis so much of cybersecurity was the network itself. Um, and again, I use that analogy, you know, guard the gate. Um, IAM is kind of who has access to the gate. Okay. So how does that work? Um, IAM uh, is kind of, you know, password creation, um, you know, again, identity access manager, making sure they are authorized, you know, to be, you know, in that network to access that information. Um, it, it, it's, it's so many different uh, components. There, there's, you know, um, identity governance. Again, that's, you know, whoever's logging in has access to log in. There's, you know, privilege access management that just that, you know, group, maybe the accounting group has access to, to, to things such as, um, you know, employee information and, and employee um, payroll information. Mm -hmm. um, of course, as always, data security. Um, I think the reason why IAM has become so paramount over this, and I'm like, I'm emphasizing the last year, but I think it's been, Jim, about the last three to five years, maybe even more so, is as companies go to the digital era and digital transformation, 
And what I mean by that is, you know, a lot of manufacturing companies and a lot of retail companies want their folks, you know, their customer base to access, you know, their website and, and, and buy and, and, you know, purchase things online. Mm -hmm. um, they really need a good IAM program to make sure those websites are secure that, you know, the payment information that the customers put on there are secure and doesn't get uh, taken by, by, you know, threat actors or bad guys. Got it. So this is something that really uh, any network should have. Uh... Yes, without a doubt. And then I think, you know, before, um, you know, as I'm learning, because like I said, I've gone from network security to IAM, I think it was more or less a compliance issue. You know, the compliance department kind of handled it, you know, kind of a check the box, make sure we're, we're compliant and, and protecting, you know, our network from our customers, you know, identities, you know, getting stolen to really a security issue. Um, again, because of the new normal, having folks work access off the network and log in from, you know, their laptops from home. So it's become basically a company wide issue or a corporate issue, because not only does companies have to worry about, do companies have to worry about, you know, their customers um, and, and using digital transformation to, to, you know, lure their customers in with the pandemic, you know, folks aren't going out shopping anymore. Mm -hmm. So they have to get their goods somehow. Um, but also their employees, you know, accessing the networks from their remote locations. Got it. Okay. So uh, what would be one thing that would be actionable uh, if I want to protect my network with IAM? What's the first step? Um, you know what, and I'm not, not plugging, <laughs> not plugging Simeo, but, but, you know, talk, talk to, to, to an expert in, in the field. Um, you know, if, if you're a CISO or a CIO, uh, whoever's handling it, um, could, like I said, could be compliance, uh, director or so, um, get in touch with, you know, um, again, if it's Simeo, fine, but get in touch with, there are a lot of, uh, companies that, that are doing this now. Mm -hmm. Um, we at Simeo are in the forefront of it, um, but, you know, reach out to someone, your, your local, uh, IAM provider, solutions provider, um, you know, so that you can, uh, they can advise you on, on where and what steps you have to take. Okay. And so Simeo, uh, what's Simeo's website, your guys' website? Uh, www.simeo.com www.simio, it's S-I-M-M-O? Uh, www.simeio.com. www.simeio.com. Got it. So uh, if anybody has questions, they can go to Simio's website uh, to find more information. And uh, so... Uh, as we wrap up things here, do you have any uh, comments be before we uh, say goodbye? Um, just, you know, again, I, I know, um, you know, IT people are listening to, to this podcast, Jim. Um, yes. You know, don't, don't feel, you know, afraid to reach out. Um, I am, like I said, has been around, but is getting into the forefront. And I know a lot of CISOs, a lot of CIOs and, and a lot of IT directors are, are feeling overwhelmed with it. Um, again, if it is, you know, Simeo, you know, we'd be glad to help, but reach out to someone, uh, an expert in the field um, and, and get that guidance and help to, to get you through uh, or get you over the hump uh, during this trying time that hopefully will, will end sometime soon. Got it. All right. Thank you, Efren. It was a pleasure having you on here. And uh, thank you for your time and for your for educating us on uh, identity access management. My pleasure, Jim, as always. Thank you. And until next time on the Profits of IT podcast, uh, bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to the Profits of IT. Please smash that like button, subscribe, and share.